So yeah, it actually now that I got this thing out, it is pretty ugly. You can see um, this alternator has definitely had better days. Um, but this is that uh, thing on there. So uh, let's see how it was orientated. It's kind of orientated like this. The pivot going like this, and it has this bracket here bolted, mounted to the back of it to kind of provide the spacer and hold it in place so it's not just like a tube. Um, the, the, what I was seeing was right here. So I was looking down, looking in there, saying, oh, the coils look pretty good. But what I wasn't seeing was, was like this underside and uh, the front. I couldn't see, you know, how, ba how bad a shape it was in um, and just how, how much wear and tear it looks like it's gotten. So uh, what, I, what I can do since um, Advance does not have uh, this alternator, and I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow till it comes in. Um, is I think I can take it down there and they can for free uh, they can te they'll test your alternator so you can um, just have them run a test and see uh, what's going on with it see if, if it's provide if it is creating a charge and that's something I want to know because if the alternator is not bad um, one I, I should probably just put it back in but I mean it look, it's pretty bad but Likely it's failed, but if it isn't failed, then that means there's something going on with my charge circuit. Um, I'm, I'm not providing the right uh, field excitation or whatever for the alternator, um, or this, the sensing wire, something's going on other than the alternator. So I definitely want to know that. So I'm gonna take it in and um, it's free and they'll, they'll test it out. All right, guys. And yeah, that's pretty much it.